right, what's happening, Techos? Um, this is uh, Spies and non facade Sales People. And um, it's basically just going over some basic things about uh, bulky characters, and such as Kevin James and Eric Cartman. And I don't think that there's that many Kevin Jameses and Eric Cartmans, you know, that close to each other that other people cannot break down into further things behind just being Kevin James and Eric Cartman. There's other things besides just one huge Kevin James and Eric Cartman facing each other talking. You know, it can't be that comfortable at all. It is not. And um, it's mathematical, you know. And um, <clears throat> basically here we have, you know, two fish looking at each other. And you can see how these two faces look. You know, and it's very irritating looking and too big and too bulky and it's pointing at each other, you know, pointing at each other the pieces, you know, and you can see male and female here and it's really, that's how they talk, you know, and it's, it's actually not them, you know, it's it's not broken down into further pieces needs to be done, damn it, needs to be. And um, here we have a face that kind of explains it all, you know, wow, how will we talk like this? you know and um how uncomfortable that is of course and um then we have a dog over here with his mouth open and it looks kind of like one of those little turtle shells you know it's like you know a dog's mouth is open it, it gives me a closed pressure visual that i created of using just the mathematical equation of you know um you know a turtle shell also you have you know kind of like those uh you know piccolo planet um little Igloo looking buildings and stuff. You know, two turtle shells facing each other wide open, you know, with no bottom, you know, just facing each other with or not. It's not really that defined. And, um, <clears throat> this is how uncomfortable that would be just to have an open area there that is not used to anything. It's a little, you know, a little fish in the water and it jumps up and it caught the lure. You know, something that is not a useful good thing. You know, because we need to learn how, you know, uh, to not have to eat that form of food in order to sustain our looks. I think it can be possible. I think it's a good challenge for you. Um, you know, here we, and we have the word lucky inside of that to kind of explain the rest because luck is not really a possible thing. Um, just in the, you know, the lottery sense, I don't think that that, you know, is really possible without a calculation. Anyway, um, one sex, male and female, male and female, one sex, unwilling, one sex, male and female, and one sex, male and female. Here we have turtles facing each other, and this is like a full physics conversation. You know, and this is trying to talk to which reflection of itself is the point. And then here is, you know, another person here singled out, you know, that has to talk to that. You know, this, what I was talking about, and you want to smell the dirt. You know, and ha 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 ha, you know, and peel and just taste a little, you know, a little piece, of, you know, kind of intimidating. You know, and just, you know, just a little, you know, just a mini taste. You know, um, you know, that's what I want to fix because you can't explain something like that forever. You know, one sex unwilling. So this is supposed to be basically just explaining that and how that physic of interaction is and how uncomfortable it is. You know, and it, it is not ever going to be comfortable for someone to talk to another person and their penis is fucking them, you know, without being able to touch evenly you know, to use the rest of the other limbs, you know, on the first go, like the first turn around, like if there was two turning belts here and turn into things, and then someone's coming this way, someone's coming this way, and you just touched it with that, and that was the first time ever, and it wasn't even supposed to be corrected. It's got to get corrected. You know, there's not enough time to not hurry. You know, so, um, and then we have, you know, two looking at each other here. And it, it, it is uncomfortable as well, you know, because it's two people, you know, using the exact um, uncomfortable form, of course. It's like having two eyes 
and snail eyes looking at another snail eye, but with human eyes, you know, like, kind of like, you know, I don't know how to really explain it now, but um, I'm just saying, you know, Eric Cartman kissing Kevin James, you know, as wood made of bleeding fingers, one is really male or female, but neither is, is a really, really drawn out and very slow of a conversation. And, um, <clears throat> you know, here we have, you know, uh, beer and umbilical cordage. And, you know, both of these stomachs have, you know, beer and umbilical cordage. And um, it's just basically that someone's full body weight is based on just drinking beer and that has that beer feel, but without male or female. And it's just made of just umbilical cord. And how that is just really uncomfortable. You know, it's, it's like it tastes like salt and vinegar chips in a bag swapped for your armpits. It's pits, you know, like a boom, 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 or just whatever it would be really unwanted and very unshapely. And it would be swaying, you know, and that it would be speaking as two um, unwanted, you know, umbilical cords, basically. And it's just how those voices are if they're not expanded on further into it. Instead of it stay at one level, it can't be the zoomed inest and zoomed outest and maybe zoomed inest or zoomed outest ist form is you know thing you know and um, you know only that sex in this kind of math is drinking beer only and using umbilical cords which they claim to have but presently but umbilical cords are disposed of after so called birth so it was just me looking at you know Mario in the Peach Honey video and how that sounds like Cartman and it tastes like wood and is very dry and does not seem right we're on the next page and you know we have you know hot boxing with the red cherries when you're in a car um, you know um, you know you hot box it all the way as fast as you can and then you know it's supposed to go past a certain line where you won't hit it and it's supposed to was supposed to be like a hard dick or pussy or whatever hard you know expression you know, to feel it that fast, you know, and it's supposed to be done in a car, you know, it fills it up with smoke at an acceptable good smelling level and all, and drinking water without silent nasty spit is, uh, spit is used for, you know, so, you know, you need to drink water with it, you have to have fresh water to go with it when you do, you know, red cherry, and, um, <clears throat> anyway, we also have a regular fuck in the sig amount to hit and about one centimeter, about that much. You know, it's about a regular fuck, you know. And, you know, a hot box would just be going all the way through that. You know. And, you know, it just says, you know, that um, whoever this is still has themselves having no idea how to hot box or whatever it is. Talks to me and claims you know, and it reduces to, you know, without being able to do that and explaining it. You know, um, drinking a cold Dr. Pepper with country music, getting caught spying with fake cigarettes which become disarmed. Realizing, Pant, that you are fucking talking to P and that the person isn't fully developed, which is family oriented. And you know, here's a person, you know, holding a fake cigarette, looking up at what looks like the tip of a penis when it was someone else's Dr. Pepper they're drinking. It's really like a little flower that was like, you know. And, um, <clears throat> you know, then we have, you know, you know, someone like this and their mouth is open like, ah, ha, ha. And you have a piece of wood, you know, that little round piece of wood looks like a spoon almost. Uh, kind of someone says, open up and say, ah, and it's like a piece of, uh, it's kind of forceful and it's not a good feeling. And, um, <clears throat> just how that is, you know, I don't think that it's just shit, but anyway, that was the equivalent over here, you know, is the same as like this equivalent kind of goes with it, but these two you know, have to be also absorbed and observed, you know, in the way that you feel fit. 
you know, or to a girl who is smart and gets a hundred good grades, passes all classes, doesn't know what she wants, and has a beard instead of peach fuzz, and has to fuck, and likes some guy, like how a dentist or doctor uses a wood utensil to say, ah, and that's all, and the guy's just folded and packaged and neat, but smells like male jewel and fucking pencil. And it's just the fact that, you know, this doesn't look good to me. That. And for the girl with the beard, she has peach fuzz. You don't put an, a beard that is unwanted on a face, you know, for peach fuzz. And I mean, this looks nice if it was a good angle. But that is not the point, you know. And, um, you know, attractive with some kind of, you know, makes all s serious shit toys, you know. Um, we have a little bag here, a piece of paper, and algebra equals you fucking Einstein or a piece of wood. You know, and I think that's pretty damn disappointing, at least in one way, as I examine this. I think you as well would probably think the same as me. And um, anyway, so this type of thing also could make all serious things toys, you know. Um, T.I. on stilts with clown gear, selling styrofoam toys to children as serious things as things that have nothing to do with keeping a form, which I'm trying to learn. And I just think that swapping everything in my life for that is a very disappointing thing. That's what I think. And, um, you know, it's reduced to eating chicken, kids shin, and children physical ketchup. You know, with the you know little tiny shins running and, you know, a piece of, you know, like a fry, you know, people eating fries and ketchup, you know, and how that could be uncomfortable, you know, and really, like, not good. I don't want that. You know, I really do not want it. You know, so this is things that, you know, it's kind of like casualties as to that, you know, kind of help, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, just this line, you know, I'm fast as lightning, bruh. You better use your Nikes, bruh. You know, because... I mean, I'm still looking at some guy that looks like a white ice cube that has, you know, Nutty Professor, you know, with the damn Nikes. And it is the equivalent of, you know, syrup is being poured into his shoe as, you know, the stickiness of it after it dries for about an hour is what his body is made of consistency and also the sexy you know, um, equivalent of a cut that goes all the way up his foot. You know, that's very uncomfortable as fuck. And it's basically explaining how that is not a good thing to look, you know, with that, you know, you can understand. Um, <clears throat> you know, so that is probably, you know, something that needs to be fixed there. And hot boxing it you know, would probably fix it, I think. You know, that form of thing there, yeah. And, um, you know, makes a C, B, a K. And it's just how that's drawn, you know. Because, you know, if you draw a C and it goes like that, you know, with stick man, it kind of fucks it up like somebody fucked up their leg with a little ketchup sin. You know, chicken ketchup sin. You know, type of movement here, baby. Yeah, you know, um, someone hurts legs or skins it, misses it point that makes expensive poverty saying absolutely nothing seem like something. And you know, I'd rather keep a form than not, you know, so that's but that is for you to kind of understand. Um, and here we have you know, some more stuff about faces and shit. Um, three six mafia or Tennessee sudden like frown is a smile. This is an improvement before it wasn't like that. It's all I've worked on. Where the fuck is it? You know, and it's just how that's that smile is an actual smile instead of it being you know like an unhappy smile frown. You know? And that you know things being another race without correction is acceptable and better than before. And just going with faces that look happy but are stuck using it. And it's just how you know. Everyone being, you know, acceptable of every race is really fucked up and not right. And that's because, you know, you can't just say that, 
I have my own aut autonomous thing about me and that it blends in with everything in the environment world and everyone's butt, you know, is not a butt that is shared in some fucked up way that causes someone to have three titties or have some fucked up deformation, you know, that you accept how good that looks. Like, that is going to be good. It's like looking at retarded fucked up hands that look fucked up and retarded and need it fixed. You know, you don't leave it retarded and say, ha oh, oh, that looks good. <laughs> you know, you have to fix that shit. You know, you gotta fix that fucking shit. <sighs> and, um, it's just forced as hell. You know, it's like a disgruntled face that looks happy and is stuck using it. You know, it's like looking at other people and it's like smiling and it's forced. You know, and it's like, hi, how are you? You know, and it feels and tastes about like that pocket there. Mm, not very good. You know. And uh, Chinese and Asian seems vertical and mathematically is language. And um, it's just this uh, mouth here and how they say the word po and poker and walker, poker, you know, and that type of speech is actually how Asian mostly is compared to over here kind of talking like this you know you know the difference is there and um, then we have um, this little piece of toast um, untwist it forces itself in the language if you compress all of the information all the English into it then use Chinese, etc., then translate it to English. It's uncomfortable and looks happy, but it's not. You know, and it's just how that forced feeling would be. You know, something like perfect and Asian, you know, ends up, you know, looking like toast. You know, it's very uncomfortable and fucking unfathomable to see. You know, it doesn't look very good, you know, and it's not comfortable either. And, um, and then we have the crunk tendency of the style rap mouth that is processing depressed, stressed Asian shit into happier mech thought closed eye, eye open, open eye visual shit. Shouldn't be a vagina with no man present. Shouldn't look like some child or forced gun person who likes to eat candy at the past time observing himself as a virgin kid. You know, and you know, you can just see that mouth there and just how that feels there. You know, and that doesn't seem like that feels very good to me. You know, or it does. You know, sorry. And, um, I don't know, I just feel kind of melty right now. I didn't really want to feel like I'm just kind of melting through this. Hear things like, you will live if you eat unwanted crumbs from McDonald's. Or fix small errors that are useless. Or listen to slow, happy guitar string music, which is designed to hurt the listener by playing it with their fingers while imagining it hurts your real fingers, CEV fingers, you know. Closed eye visual fingers, open eye visual fingers, you know. Definitely some differences there. And just how you could just go up in your car and, you know, you could really have someone really scared of boom and clap and just the way that, you know, someone is scared because they're listening to some shit and whether it's guitar music or anything else you know and just that you know just unwanted crumbs from a biscuit you know that's old and cold if you don't eat enough of them piled up in a little area that you will die <coughs> it's such a waste of my focus you know and I think it's a waste you know of anyone's focus but I mean it just there was no reason to have a death threat that goes with something. There's no way to even have one that I don't want, you know, and would not want that death threat. You know, I would not want it. And I don't think anyone else should. I don't think you should be so scared, you know, that you eat a little piece of something you don't want, you know, to um, help people and stuff like that. I think that that's useless, and the death threats are completely useless themselves. Um, if we actually learn something from this. Um, and you know, Michael Jackson is safety. It says the dude has tiny scars all over his face and being that shit and Ronald McDonald. And I mean, I think he was just fighting Jesus his whole life and probably Allah his whole life and probably just anything that tried to be him, you know, because you know that there's, you know, people can be you, 
you, you know, that you can be people. You, know, you can be them, they can be you. And you know how that feels. And when you see how those eyes look and they look all fucked up looking, it's kind of like, oh, fuck. Like a, like, like a little piece here is like cut off and it's all blinky looking and like it's got chlorine all up in his eyes every single day. And just how the eyes look with all that chlorine and it's like overstressed eyes like this. You know, like my cousin, you know, before it happened to him. You know, and just how bad that feels, you know, just to look that dismorphed. You know, and just to keep it like, <clears throat> stretched like that, and that's a good sexy move. That's unhealthy. It's not right. You know, it's not. Not good, you know. And, um, and then we have, you know, watching someone go from one place to another, catching them while ruining their entire time. And it's just how that feels if someone watches you doing something and it's just that one little scale of, you know, should I take my time? And just things that just pass it by casually, you know, as someone is just minding their own business and it's just such a slow interruption. And it's like, so someone, you know, could be smarter than me at something. And, you know, I'm just sitting there like, man, this is so uncomfortable that I have to sit here and let something happen that is just completely unwanted that I would not want. You know, why would I even have this happen? You know, you know, being caught, you know, doing something you don't want to do, you know, is just completely worthless. Rastafarian happiness is definitely not real. There's more to it playing with the seed in my mouth. And, you know, it's just how, you know, Rastafarians, you know, still have a lot more things to do than just mess with the seed. And, um, I just think that's basically what I'm saying, you know, about, you know, yeah, man, and all that stuff. You could have a deeper accent in there. I know there's someone who has a deeper accent, you know, and it needs to be in there. Instead of to keeping, you know, just to think that this shit is not, you know, progress, you know, I think that, you know, and then, you know, I catch you because I am smarter than you and stuff like that really slowly and very, you know, poor and can't afford it to eat, you know, and stuff like that is really, really fucking uncomfortable. And uh, that's just how it feels with a Rastafarian tummy that slices out of penis, you know, is really the solution to everything. Yeah, I think that's pretty fucking pizza nosy. Looking at Damien's feet pizza face and thinking that it's not, you know, something not wanted. <laughs> it's all, you know, I just don't want to look. It's disgusting. And um, then we have a represented belly button, the umbilical cord, stomach. This person and two people is also killed metaphorically in every way possible. So it becomes a girl and guy who's worth $80,000 a year and is completely in every way possible, completely useless, disposed of, and temporary portfolios of Kevin James, Eric Cartman, and all of the Seinfeld characters are just never just trash to get rid of family force. And, you know, this is stomach, you know, with the uh, belly button, umbilical cord, whatever the hell is that? There it isn't. I mean, it is. And there it is, you know. And so that's the umbilical cord belly button there. And how that resembles itself. And without families and recruits, came to child peace, suckers, witnesses, then there is no useless shit like blowing up use sphere moments. Trap music sucks. Memphis rap doesn't, but states suck, and anything that has a known thing for knows that. And fads and trends, why just go for disposal of shit we enjoy? Why not it be an art form, not trend in some area, at least an area? We have like people are using a little junk to do as serious matters. It's way too common. It's a total waste of anyone's space. It's quality as shit, Forrest Gump and Bubba Gump, and anyone in some shit movie are not supposed to, and our friends. Sports garbage, why refer to it? Why? 
you know, and then we have, you know, hand is safe, emphasized, and sentences does nothing, garbage is garbage, and there is nothing you can do about it. Um, two changed fingers unraveled and cannot even point, made of small pieces, are covered with cigarette butt papers, and it's like saying a wad of envelopes is sexy with the huge booger fingers and is as sexy as a dung beetle in any Disney cartoon. It's holding it together with trap music and there's no reason to keep it there because it's just a job and it's too hard to work. It's too much work. And just that his finger is not actually a fucking point and it could just be actually dismantled all the way. You know, without the original hip-hop finger points or just you know, lyrical points. It's not for that, it's more like working a really tedious job. And it doesn't look comfortable at all, and the dude wouldn't listen to me when I'm trying to talk about something for him to learn. And it just totally fucks it all up. It's like turning it into Walmart and Sears. I don't want to see more of that garbage, you know. But it has to be, you know, not that. You know, I don't like it, I don't want to have another problem. I want another problem. You know, and the word hand and safe, I mean, if you just say it over and over and over, you know, hand safe, hand safe, you know, hand safe, hand and safe, you know, and the way that that is, you know, it gets really uncomfortable. And it, it's useless. It's like thinking that someone's hand that has, you know, a little bit of warm kept. You know, just that little tiny, just keep and all that hand safe, hand safe, hand safe. And then, you know, the fingers have boogers all over them. You know, just from being hand and safe, hand and safe. You know, eat sandwich, hand safe, hand safe, hand safe. You know, it gets really, really uncomfortable. You don't need to rob a bank that's useless. You know, and just... And the way that is, you know, is very, very useless. <laughs> safe, safe. safe hand, you know, keeps you safe. You know, you don't want that to be what your life is about. <coughs> um, <clears throat> and all made of insulation, love it forever and accept wrinkles as an offer in death and nothing else. You know, that's another thing that is just completely useless as a life thing to do forever. Is just to sit there and just love a doll made of insulation. Home improvement, the show, and all this shit is junk. You know, basically everything that I have said so far probably is junk. And we need to be able to move forward instead of this junk be here. But it needs to be accomplished. Um, Crips and Bloods are your family, cousins and brothers and sisters, etc. It's all junk, it's just a way to molest each other in public. And there is no storyline, and it's just common speech where it is used. You know, and that's what that is, you know, hey brother, you know, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just a complete waste. And, you know, calling someone a cousin and calling someone a brother and calling someone a sister and pal and buddy and man and all that stuff is what that stuff is. It's from church, it's from avoiding invisible penis that doesn't exist, so you can actually just sit there and watch it seem like it's happening and you're dying. And I don't think that that has to do with staying alive and keeping a life force. It would feel more, it would feel empowering instead of just thinking that and just having little errors in your speech and laughing is going to be able to accomplish that goal. Have some up down, down the cake. So what be a booty, you know, just all these little errors this is what it sounds like. It's like when you're around Crips and Bloods and you wanted to buy any of that junk. You sound like someone that's like Yeah, and then you just keep going And it sounds like shit, you know, it sounds like you just like all a bunch of junkies that just could talk that way instead of just talk you know, it's like that Young Dro video with Donald Trump as the president. It's like, what the fuck are you doing over here? It's like a new video. He's got this like blonde hair or something. This big fat guy, and he's in the hood. You know, and it's just explaining how shitty it is. You know, he's in there buying drugs and he's so fat. 
and it doesn't fit right, it doesn't look right, and that's how that feels, you know. And it's junk, you know, and I don't want any junk. You know, so how we get interrupted is from throwing away umbilical cord as a physic, which is a person who takes seriously things that we don't say while we speak. And that's what we've been talking about, you know. Um, spies require family so far. Without a family, there is no spy. Um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, the point, the word spy with the mouth is a visual you can see how that is, okay? I've tested it. We can destroy Spy. It's time to get rid of it. It's junk. It's just like Whistleblower. It's junk. It's garbage. It's a spy. It's garbage. There's no reason to see a little group of people anywhere in this world, you know, and be like, you know, I caught them finding this, and, you know, the family is just fucking each other, you know, and Spies is what we're talking about here that we don't want. And, um, you know, it's like, you know, three ninety nine for a small child cap gun. I shot a guy. I had my cap gun. Hmm. Just think for a minute and just see how that feels. It's what you have said and how that really affected the world and how useful it was. It's not useful. It's a waste. It's been said before, and it shouldn't be said again. That's because it's a useless thing. It's like family spy and the salesperson. Which is useless as well, because you are selling something or buying something that is useless. <clears throat> you know. 1099 for some monoculars and binoculars, you know, with a hearing super. You know, you can see how that feels on me. You know, 99 cent lighter, fake candy toys, cigarettes, minty 100s. And, you know, you can see how that looks there. Um, the world child is the word P and sex and spying only being called urine bag as a repercussion and it's always just as disappointing and there's nothing good to see no matter what distance <laughs> at all you know caught you little pee bag you are that you can kind of measure how you know, someone chewing their fingernail could resemble something that can poke into something have a round you know, uterus looking sack of a ball just be someone poking the door, the head in the door, and how that really feels like, you know, like a little, you know, just that right there with the nose, yeah, it looks like pizza being cooked from Fazoli, Fazoli's pizza, you know, making his pizza, and how that feels intruding into the, uh, uh, you know, the baby area where that seems like it feels like a uh, embryo ball or whatever to be touched to something. Definitely is probably also probably just that umbilical cord in that mathematical equation of that. And that's basically all it related to and it is trash and garbage. This shit is garbage. I like that. Thank you, Mars. You know, covert nacho. And this is just, you know, a little, you know, thing here, you know, is that, uh, you need to cut your nails and it's spying on you. Yeah, it's useless. And that type of shit. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, what I just did. You know, but covert nacho is, you know, deadly as a broke forming bone it's just you know someone's butt you know open like this and it's like nachos is in their ass and then there's like a little uh, bubble from a comic book in that and uh, basically just someone bent over in like an uncomfortable position 
and uh, just how that would be, you know. Um, it's as deadly as a broke form and bone, and deadly as a covert nacho, deadly as censored munching, deadly as a sexual tanning bed, communities that are isolated and the only thing they taste like is the texture of crickets and the only meal ever eaten in off bow spray in contrast to actual skin. And the overlapping embryo bag face and the person fully zoomed in which is a person, not a person coaxed or caught or whatever. Um, hey, what you doing? What you doing there? You know, it's like a goddamn mother stepping on, oh, like a damn mother stepping on you as pancakes and directly not giving a fuck about it or even recognizing the shit. Stops like a huge unwanted shit bus that looks like a shit TV. And we have some Tono Sears reference that has family painted on them. And it's just, you know, all of that stuff I just said kind of put together in one, you know, just, just as a visual, you know, to really understand that. So, you know, there's that, and I you know, hope you enjoyed it. Um, basically, hopefully we can just say that there's more to, you know, something instead of it being like, boo, boo, you know, just more to, you know, it's just the way that is, you know, it just needs to be a little bit you know, less, you know, caked up, you know, Eric Cartman and Kevin James should not be the same person, and, you know, it shouldn't be the same level, it shouldn't be the same velocity, and just the way that is, I don't want to be Kevin James or Eric Cartman, I don't think that that's how, you know, a person who makes sense should be, you know, I think that it would be further, you could do something else about it instead of it be a live thing where it's kind of interrupting me, you know, I'm interrupting you know, it has to be there, you know, it's not comfortable. And I never want to talk about King of Queens ever again because it looks like trap music to me. It looks like a stupid job and it looks like a waste of my time. And it is. It's a waste of anything. So, hope you enjoy. Have fun. Peace and love, Tecos.